I've spoken with leading real estate executives about the impact of higher rates on the sector and what disruptive trends like hybrid work mean for the crisis-stricken CRE market. Here's Dubai property mogul and EMAR founder, Mohammed Alibar. And, and I just wonder, why do we do this to ourselves? <laughs> like, like, why is it that we're always facing crisis? Right? Like, why? And, 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 and I know it's probably greed, right? Right? It's greed. And, and this, is a, this is a big issue. How can we live and really believe, as very brilliant people, that interest rate will always be 2%? Like, how, how, right? We know that in life there is day and night and there is summer and winter. But still, we just think it will be 2%. We get out of crisis of 2006 and seven, and then, you know, we get in trouble again. And we don't even think about maybe COVID will come. Of course we can't. We don't think of wars, you know, we just think that this thing will just roll and roll. Now, I tell you what we do in the Middle East and in Asia, when you have a problem like that, and I did that in 1997, I went home crying to my mother. There is no one to call. But I think in the West and in, in Europe, you know, the bailout comes in, right? So to answer that first, we blame it, blame it on all of us because we should have planned better. Uh, but in reality is that, you know, you've got Corona have added uh, to it and we've changed our lifestyle, how we look at this. But I think there's a difference that I'm sure my friends from the US, they, will, they know better than this. It depends where you are, which city, which location. Right? How good is this uh, environment? Because now they call it environment. It's not even you know, commercial buildings anymore. Uh, will the, really the, the city allow you for change of use if the floor plate of these buildings can, can work? So it will be a combination of all that, and there will be a little bit of pain uh, that investors will have to handle, that banks have to handle uh, to move forward. The only wish I have is that I hope we all learn that in the future, we just kind of minimize this pain. Your Excellency, can I follow up on that? I think it's, in, in absolute fairness, I think it's uh, easy to say, you know, okay, maybe we shouldn't talk about crisis so much, but in your part of the world, Dubai, we've just seen that city leading global luxury sales this year. Sure. Seems like there's a lot of momentum I'm scared. in the market. I'm scared. Okay, so tell me why. You think it's sustainable? Well, no, it's, you know, Dubai is a very small town. And last year we had about 5,000 uh, millionaires that moved in. And I'm saying, okay, even if the market crashes and there is only this year 2,500 millionaires moves in, we don't really have enough space. We don't have ready homes for all these people. So can you really run your cash flow tight, make sure that you don't deal with your bank and you don't borrow much? Because this is, I mean, real estate is a very unstable business. So uh, this year is looking good. This year is above, we're, we're above 30% uh, above last year. But we have to be careful. We have to be cautious. We know that, that you know, things go up and go down. But for now, it's, it's looking strong. But how can you really manage your cash flow just in case anything happens, you're, you're safe?